Let us write a complete menu driven python program to implement a csv file. What I mean by implementing the csv file is first you write data to a csv file you display the csv file in the computer's monitor and you search for an item in the csv file. So to write the menu driven python program start by saving the file. You can see the file is already saved. After that you need to write a comment. So let me write the comment like this. It's a multi-line comment. You can see that the csv file stock.csv contains information of different items existing in a shop. The information include item code, name of the item, price and quantity. Write a menu driven python program to do the following. Inserting an item into the csv file, displaying the csv file in the computer's monitor, search for an item and exit from the program. So started by writing the comment. After that you can import all the necessary modules and here one module required is the csv module. So let me import the csv module. You can create a function for defining the or displaying the menu used to display the menu. You can write the print statement. So maybe you can start with a heading. Okay. Then after that, the remaining print statements. Only four options are there in the menu. So this is option number one. Insert data to a CSV file. After that option number 2, display the CSV file. After that option number 3, search for an item. Search for an item in the CSV file. And uh, option number 4, as you know, it is exit from the program. Okay. Now you should read your choice. So you can create a function for that for reading the choice. You can write a document string used to read the choice. Choice is an integer. So int input and here you can enter your choice. Okay. Now choice must be available in the main function. So what you should do? Return choice. Return C. Now after reading the choice, in order to read a list, I am going to create a function. And the list must contain these items. Item code, name of the item, price and quantity. Why I am going to create a function for reading a list? Because in the CSV file, each and every row is maintained as a list. I told you. So let me create a function for reading the list from the keyboard. So in the comment, used to read a row of the CSV file. Now, uh, in order to read the list, class 11, you studied one method, you use this method, it is evaluate and uh, input, okay. Now, in certainly you can use this method, no problem. Uh, instead of using this method, let me read the quantities one by one, let me create a list and the list will be returned to the main function. What did you understand by reading the quantities one by one? Like this. First quantity to be entered, item code. Second quantity, item name. After that, price followed by quantity. So first I am going to read item code IC equals, it's an integer. So int input. Now certainly you can type a message, enter the item code. 
now you should read the item name so item name equals it is input and here enter the item name and finally it is uh, not finally two more quantities are there to be entered price and quantity okay price and quantity so here you can write price equals it's a decimal number so evaluate or you can make use of float both are correct now input and here you can type the message enter the price and finally quantity okay it's an integer so int input enter the quantity okay now quantity if you want you can make it as a decimal number it's up to you no hard and fast rule now let me create a list with uh, these three items so creating a list item code item name product and a quantity now this list must be available in the main function so you can return l save your file yes it is saved now i am going to write a function which will write one row at a time to the csv file okay so in order to write data let me create a function so def followed by write data now the list that you want to write should be passed as an argument actually there are two methods if you want you can read this inside this function but here i am going to use a different style the list will be entered in the main function so that when you call this function it is passed as an argument okay now you can certainly write a document string used to write a list to a csv file okay now in order to write data step one the file must be opened for writing purpose just for a change let me use with open okay so with open now two arguments are there first argument the name of the file that you want to open relative path class 12 files uh, it is stock dot csv so let me write it as stk dot csv stock dot csv second argument why you are opening the file the file is opened for writing purpose so maybe i will not be able to finish in this line so let me continue with the statement in the next line how can you do that backward slash okay you understood the meaning of backward slash the statement continues here the statement continues here okay now the second argument file mode file is opened for writing purpose a means appending the data what is the meaning of appending the data the existing contents are preserved and always the new data is written to the end of the file now a third argument is there what's the third argument i hope you remember that new line equals empty string so if you don't write the third argument by default it is backward slash r backward slash n what is the drawback of the default new line character unnecessarily a line is inserted after every data i don't want that extra line to come it was explained in my previous tutor videos okay so i am going to change the default new line character to empty string and what is the syntax of with open the keyword with followed by open that is followed by as followed by file pointer and remember the with statement should end with a colon so don't forget colon now alignment is very important so you have opened the file the file pointer is ifs now i need to read data from this csv file because no i am going to write data to the csv file which is the data that you are going to write that is there in l okay so in order to write data there is a function by the name writer now writer is present in which module it is there in the csv module so it should be called as csv.writer 
the file pointer should be passed as an argument so IFS means input file stream here we are writing data so let me use the file pointer OFS this is simply a variable name you can use any suitable variable name here I prefer OFS so the file pointer to be passed is OFS and this returns an answer the answer returned by the writer function is CSV writer object ok CSV writer object so variable CWO points to the CSV writer object now this writer object contains a function by the name write row using which one row or one list can be written to a CSV file so let me call the write row function so write row now this function is present in CSV writer object so it should be called as CWO dot write row and the row that you want to write capital L that should be passed as an argument ok so one row is written to the CSV file now once the use is over don't keep the file in the computer's memory you should close the file so manually you don't have to close the file because you made use of with open now very important the alignment is important these are all statements corresponding to with open so align it properly okay so here you created a CSV writer object and here using the write row function the row is written to the CSV file. Now the remaining functions in the next video.